Hi everyone, I hope you're good guy and welcome to a new video. So today we're going to talk about a new Ableton Live device, Spectral Resonator. So first we're going to have a quick overview of what this parameter does and how the plugin works. And then I will show you three applications that you can use for your techno music production. So let's get started. So basically what Spectral Resonator is doing, it's basically analyzing the input signal that you provide to him and analyze all of the frequency distribution of the signal. And from that, it will generate a bunch of sine wave, which you call harmonics. And you can see there, let me bring this. And you can, for example, control the number of harmonic here with this parameter here. So here you just have three harmonics. And then you have the fundamental here that is generated as well. And you can change this fundamental with this frequency knob. So you can either put in in by not or you can put in earth I'm gonna put by not for now and then you have straight which is gonna change the distance between each harmonic like the relation so you can see it's kind of changing let me put a bit more harmonics maybe and you're gonna see how it's changed and basically shift it's gonna pitch the incoming signal so let me bring the harmonic a bit more up and the shift to zero so now gk you can see here it's pretty short and the case is gonna make it last longer. Basically, the tail is gonna be longer. And HF high filter damp and low filter damp is gonna respectively shorten the decay of the high frequency and the decay of the low frequency. So if you check the signal here, when I put high damp, you can see like here it's way much shorter in the high frequency. And if I do the opposite in the low end, it's gonna see now on the low here it's shorter than on the high. You can see here it's way shorter than on the high. And then the amount you want is depending on that. So now we can modulate all of this harmonic with some kind of chorus style. You can see normal kind of chorus. You have moderate, which kind of gonna accentuate the effect and make it more intense. You have Wonder, which is kind of a chorus mode, but a little bit different as well. And then you have Granular, which is kind of creating this wind chime effect. So then you can add some pitch modulation as well over time. So you can see here how it stays straight, but then if I bring it up, down this kind of this kind of effect and so then you have your input sent that you can control here and you have a unison mode so basically unison is gonna duplicate the signal and kind of detune each duplicated signal so you can get pretty crazy or more in a subtle way and that kind of create a reverb effect and now let's move on on three applications you can use of the spectral resonator and that's the first application i want to talk about it's basically using the spectral resonator as kind of a reverb like having a nice different sounding kind of reverb which is different than the usual use of the spectral resonator but you have so you want to put the drive rate around 30 percent and the way to have this reverb is basically by bringing and using the unison. So you want to put that at 8. And you can put 100% and then after you can play with the GK. Obviously you can... Then after you can play with all of the other parameters to kind of... tune it differently and yeah something like this and then after you can add your delay 
and you have your device which is kind of sounding like a, a nice and different reverb. Obviously, you can even go further after with Chorus Wonder and you can play with other parameters, but basically the idea is to start with the unison at 8 and 100% with a dry rate around 30% and a decay around 2 seconds. And then after you can play with the other parameter to kind of change the tone of your reverb if you want to damp a little bit the low frequency or the high frequency, you can play with that as well. So then the idea is to having a preset that you could transform anything in kind of ambience. So for example, a drum loop, you have the drum loop here. And we wanna transform this into a kind of ambience. So we're gonna use the same idea with the unison, a bit less dry weight amount, long decay. And then you can really play, I'm gonna put in G because it was in G, but then you can play. That's already something interesting. And then you could just filter this. You see, it generates a lot of, of noise I don't like, but this frequency here I like. Uh, Now you have a kind of dark. So I have this scent melody as well. that can work with as well. And then you can pitch it higher. too much unison but yeah that the idea and the next one which is probably my favorite one is a great way to kind of pitch down your voice or even it works well with percussion i've used it in my last remix i made a video about a track breakdown about my last remix where i used this uh, exactly same preset to kind of create this pitch down on the voice but i use it on percussion all right so first thing you want to do is bring the unison at eight put the amount at 20 percent you want to put in granular mode 100% and maybe pitch it at 2. So good idea. Yeah, maybe we can pitch down. But what's going to really do the... If you pitch, shift down the... And then you can play with the straight for different tone. And then here you can actually put in key and pitch to the track. One thing it's missing, obviously it's pretty short, so you wanna play with the GK. Maybe go down a bit more down. And yeah, you got your dark voice, so it works with percussion and voice mainly. You can try with different kind of, of other audio source, but I found it working best with these two. Last one is this kind of... Is, this is with the granular, it's quite easy. Just put in granular mode and after you just play with the mode rate a little. And you get this instant granular and then you can pitch it. This doesn't really matter. As far as you put granular, a bit of moderate. And then after... 
can pitch down. So one thing I haven't talked is the mod here and still so far I use the internal mode, but you can use it in MIDI and instead of having like you pitch here that you can control the frequency or, or which key you want, you can having from a MIDI, external MIDI source. So you can have, for example, another track which is playing code and it's gonna follow this and as well as gonna feed uh, your spectral resonator. You can put in mono, poly, uh, you can, if it's in mono, you can add a bit of glide. I haven't used much that, so to be honest, but yeah, other than that, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. All the predates I've shown will be available for free, the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe before to grab them and see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.